Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to guide you through the installation and the practical use of three powerful tools on OpenSUSE Linux, InMap, Wireshark, and NetData. These are invaluable for network discovery, packet analysis, and system monitoring. Whether you are managing a home network, troubleshooting issues, or securing a larger environment, I will show you exactly how to install each one and dive into detailed real-life examples with specific arguments and use cases. So, let's get started. Let's kick things off with Nmap. Nmap is short for Network Mapper and it's an essential tool for network scanning and security auditing. With Nmap, you can scan networks, identify connected devices and find open ports and services. The installation is sudo zipper install Nmap and we can see Nmap is already installed. Once installed, let's start with a basic scan to discover devices on your local network. Write in map dash sn and the network IP. The dash sn argument tells in map to perform a Bing scan, which only lists active devices. Replace IP for network with your network's IP range. This is great for quickly mapping out devices on your network. Next, let's scan a specific device to see what ports are open. Here I will scan my own IP the dash p and 165535 tells in map to scan all the 65535 possible ports on the target ip address this full port scan can take some time but gives you a complete view of all open ports To dig even deeper, we can use InMap's service detection and version detection options. This will show you not only which ports are open, but also the services and versions running on them. InMap-SV capital and the IP enables version detection, and this is extremely useful for vulnerability assessment. For example, outdated software versions may have known vulnerabilities that should be patched. If you want even more information, you can perform an aggressive scan, which combines OS detection, version detection, and trace routes all in one command. Nmap A capital enables aggressive scanning, providing comprehensive details about the device. You may go up to get a full information about the output and you can learn about the OS detection, version detection, the versions of the software, the trace route, a lot of information here. Next up, let's look at Wireshark. Wireshark is an incredibly powerful packet analyzer that lets you capture and inspect data traveling across your network. This is invaluable for troubleshooting network issues and for security auditing. To install Wireshark on OpenSUSE, use this command in your terminal, sudo zipper install Wireshark. After installation, we will add your user to the Wireshark group so you don't need to run it with sudo. Now let's add your user to the Wireshark group as we said so you don't need to run it with sudo and the dollar sign user here it will reflect your user don't forget after doing that you have to reboot your server after rebooting your server don't forget to check your id and the wireshark group you are already a member of the wireshark group once Wireshark is open, you will see a list of available network interfaces. Select the interface you are using, typically Ethernet or Wi-Fi, to start capturing traffic. Wireshark by default will capture everything going through that Ethernet you chose. 
when you finish you can press on stop if example let's say you want to inspect http traffic in the filter bar type http and press enter or the start button this filter will capture only http packets which is useful when analyzing website traffic let's open some websites to simulate the traffic As you can see, Wireshark shows each HTTP request and response in real time. You can inspect details like source and destination IP addresses and even HTTP headers. Let's go a step further by filtering traffic from a specific IP or port. For example, to capture only packets, uh, in this example, I will use again my own IP for the machine and port 80 you can use the following filter that ip dot add equal equal and the ip ampersand ampersand tcp dot port equal equal 80 this filter is perfect for narrowing down traffic to specific devices or services for instance you could use it to monitor traffic to and from a web server on your network we have an apache service running on our machine from previous video so let's fire it up to simulate a traffic on our network when you are done capturing you can go to file save to store the capture for later analysis wireshark saves captures as dot bcap ng files which can be reloaded or shared with others for collaborative troubleshooting so let's save it in our home folder for a later analysis finally let's set up netdata netdata is a real-time performance monitoring tool with an intuitive web-based interface it's excellent for tracking CPU usage, memory, disk I.O. and much more with alerts to notify you of any issues. To install NetData, we will use the official installation script from NetData GitHub website. As you can see, you choose NetData and we find go the, all the way down till we find install on and a list of Linux flavors. You click here and this is the script and then the installation part we care about make sure about choose the option that you like i don't like telemetry and i prefer the stable version we take a copy and we paste that command this script is using sudo so make sure you run the script from a user that already a member of the sudo or will group on your operating system after that press enter and let the script do its magic the script will install netdata first is adding a reboot for netdata for the uh, later upgrade when you run update to your system press yes and let the installation finish the only thing that I noticed the script doesn't do is starting the service. So make sure to start the service after installation. So sudo system control start net data. After you started the service, open once it's installed, open your browser and go to http forward slash slash localhost and port number one. Uh, 9999 this will bring up the netdata dashboard uh, you can say anonymous 
if you don't want to log in if you don't have an account just to show uh, the full dashboard here you will find real-time metrics for your system you can see information on cpu disk usage memory network traffic and more all organized into easy to read charts you can take a closer look at cpu and memory usage under the system section you will find detailed charts for cpu utilization and memory this is updated in real time so if you run a heavy process you will see its impact instantly for demonstration i'm using the stress command here to max out my cpu for 10 seconds if you notice if you get this uh, error message you can install the stress using the following package stress ng and after the installation we will show the command for the demonstration and here i'm stressing maxing out my cpu for 20 i will do it for 20 seconds and we can check our dashboard to see the meter for the cpu is going to the max and this is how you can monitor your system if you want to monitor network traffic go to the uh, network section here you can track your upload and download rates this is useful if you suspect a process is using more bandwidth than it should or if you are monitoring data usage on a server NetData also allows you to set up alerts. You can configure NetData to notify you if CPU or memory usage exceeds a certain threshold or if disk space is running low. You can go to alerts section in the configuration to set this up. So I can select all here to show me all the alerts possible on my system you can choose what it needs to be show in the alerts section and that's a wrap for today we have covered the installation and use of three powerful tools on OpenSUSE linux nmap for network discovery wireshark for packet analysis and netdata for real-time system monitoring each of these tools is essential for network management security auditing and system health monitoring with the examples we have covered, you should be able to get started using them effectively. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful and hit the bell icon for notification on future OpenSUSE tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.